What's poppin' my peeps, how's it going? Today on the Monday challenge, I'm gonna be uh, removing my face in After Effects. Let's get it going. So I have a music video coming up and in this music video, the client wants to achieve an effect where the person's face is removed or kind of blurred, just like, like they don't really have a face. I told the client I want to make sure that I can do this first and I would send them over some examples to see if this is what they're looking for. So that's what we're going to do for today on the Monday challenge. I'm going to try and emulate this effect that we're going to be using for this music video. All right, let's go get set up, get these shots going and hop into this edit. Pretty much got everything all set up here. Plan is to have my subject, I'm going to be the subject. Gonna be looking out the window. Camera's gonna be on this tripod right here. So camera will be pointing this way towards the subject. It's cool because you can see there's a little bit of fog. I put some fog in here so we can get some light rays coming from the window. And then what I'll do in post is I'll animate some push-ins so that it looks like a gimbal because when I go to shoot this, I'll actually be on a gimbal. So I wanna emulate that effect and make sure that this looks good and I can get as close to what it's going to look like as it would be when we shoot the music video. For lighting, the only thing I got for lighting is a quasar. It's just outside up here, I'll show you guys. Just on a C stand right here, blasting through the window. All right, I'm gonna get it going, get these shots, and I'll see you guys back in the office. All right, so I'm gonna start putting this together in Premiere, just grab my two clips that I want. I have this song that I'm gonna use because it's very similar to what the band kind of sounds like. It's a little different, but it's, it's in a similar vibe, so I'm gonna stick with that. So that, that way I can get a feel for how it's actually going to be. So I'll just start piecing this together real quick. So I got that cut together. I had to make sure of a few things. One of the things is with the eye because I think I might track the eye. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. I wanted to make sure that I didn't blink or move around the eye too much because that is going to affect the, the motion track that I do in After Effects. Another thing is, is I want this to push out. So I animated that in Premiere, but I'm going to have to actually export that specific file. And the reason is, is because if I brought this into After Effects just the way it is, that motion, that animation, those keyframes would still be there and I don't want those to be there. Just for the sake of this video and because I want to make sure that this is going to work if I was on a gimbal, I'm going to export this clip as is, bring it back into Premiere, place that on the timeline and then edit that clip in After Effects. So let's just do that real quick. So that's done, but before I can go into After Effects, I'm going to actually create this like face thing in Photoshop and then bring that into After Effects. So there's a couple processes here, a couple steps that need to be done. So I'm gonna screenshot the first frame of this clip by hitting this little uh, photo icon here. Got the screenshot open in Photoshop. First thing I'm gonna do is duplicate the layer, mute the original layer, and then work off this copy. All I'm gonna do with this is just use the clone stamp tool and clone stamp out my facial features. All right, so I have this and I'm not gonna make it too perfect because there's a few things that I think I'm gonna do in After Effects to kind of refine it a little bit and make it just l look a little weird. The next step here is to cut out the face itself. That's what I'm going to use in After Effects. So I'm gonna cut this out real quick, bring that over to After Effects. Face is pretty much good to go. I'm gonna have to do some tweaking in After Effects, but let's get into After Effects right now. So if we click the clip we wanna use, right click, replace with After Effects composition. Got everything in After Effects here. The first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is track the motion. So if we go over here to our tracker, click track motion, and it's gonna set a point. Now I'm just gonna scrub through this here and double check the eye to make sure that it doesn't wiggle around too much, because if it does, I may have to track a different point. So let's just watch this back real quick. So the eye actually does move around a little bit. I think I'm gonna try and track my fingernail up here, see if this works best. Okay, so I got my points set. I'm at the first frame. I'm gonna wanna be at the first frame because that's where that face I created is from, the first frame. So we gotta make sure that we're, we're on that first frame there. And there isn't any rotation. I know that there's not any rotation, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. But let's see if this looks good. Let's see if this works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit analyze forward, see if it tracks it. Okay, for the most part, it looked like it, it did a pretty good job. Let me just kind of go in here and, and check and see.
It looks like around here it got messed up. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go analyze forward again. So if we go See how it had that little jump? So if we go here and then click analyze forward, see if it fixes itself. Yeah, it looks like it definitely fixed itself. Oh, there's a couple more jumps. See that jump right there? So right before, we wanna go to the frame before. Boom, and then click analyze forward and it should fix itself. Boom, yeah, that's super smooth. Sweet, so that looks pretty smooth. So now I'm gonna create a null object and then edit target, this little thing will pop up. We wanna make sure that it's on our null object layer. Click okay, and then apply. Gonna ask us if we want X and Y. We're gonna say both X and Y, okay. And there we go. So it's got our scale and position tracked. Now what we're gonna do is bring our face down. That just looks weird. And we're gonna pick whip the face to the null object so that it will, you know, use the, use the position and scale motion. Position wise, I think it tracked it well, but scale wise, I don't really think it did. So I'm wondering if maybe we can go in and keyframe the scale ourselves. That might be the best way to do this. So let's just delete these scale points here. Leave this at 100. And then we're gonna go to the last frame right here and scale this down a little bit. like there and we'll see don't get me wrong it's not perfect and I would definitely spend a lot more time on fine-tuning this especially for a client project but just for the sake of getting this effect, I think it's it's pretty dialed in. I'm nowhere near done. There's a few things that I wanna do to the face layer to try and give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, a weirder effect to kind of make it blend a little bit better. this thing all good to go I had to actually adjust a few things and I actually had to adjust the motion track obviously since I tracked my fingernails it wasn't doing the exact motion that the head was so I ended up going back in and tracking in my nostril and my ear that definitely smoothed the whole thing out and actually made the scale work another thing I noticed is my jaw actually twitched in the beginning of the clip as you can see here look right there so what I did was I actually had to use the puppet tool on the face to create this animation here. Puppet tool kind of gives you the ability to kind of warp and move things around. I might, maybe I'll do a video on that. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on the puppet tool. But I recreated that movement with the puppet tool and then I pre-composed the face layer and the null object and moved all the attributes into there. And the reason that I did that is because I duplicated the face and then I would put the blur on and when I put the blur on it was it was breaking you could see where that puppet tool was was being created so when I pre-composed it down it essentially created a whole new video clip from that and then from there I duplicated that pre-composition and just added some directional blur to the entire thing then I changed the opacity down to 75 all right now time to uh, head over to Premiere and color grade this thing So after watching this whole thing back, looking at the footage and everything, uh, I think it's really great. I think it came out awesome and I'm super pumped on it, but I, I'm not completely sure that this is the effect that I wanted to achieve. So I actually made a second sequence. In the second sequence, all I did was just mask out the face, used all the same effects and everything as I did with the first sequence, but rather than looking like the person doesn't have facial features, you can kind of tell that they do, but the blur just makes it look a little weird. So we'll just play that guy right now. I kind of like the second one better than the first one, so what I'm gonna do is send both to the client and see what they think. Personally, 
Like I said, the second one just looks a little bit better and looks more like what we're trying to achieve. That's gonna be it for today's challenge. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, smash that keyboard, subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell, and stay hungry. Peace! Woo! Yeah, I couldn't think of what to do for the send screen today, so I just figured Sit down. Ask you how your day's going again. <laughs> What'd you have for dinner? Or what are you going to have for dinner? Or if it's too early in the day to tell, then let me know. Let me know that. Oh, you know what? You know what? Actually, one thing. One thing. Um, I don't ever talk about this. Like, ever. Um, I've mentioned it maybe a few times, but I have a Patreon. I have a Patreon page, and I just redid all of my tiers. I'll probably talk about this in a video in the next few weeks here. But I just redid all my tiers, and uh, there's only three tiers now. There's a, a $2 tier, a $5 tier, and a $10 tier, I think. So if you wanna go head over to the Patreon page, I always leave the link down in the description below. I just never talk about it. Um, go check it out if you're able to and you, and you would like to support, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, just, you know, don't worry about it. Don't, you're not, don't feel obligated, like continue to watch these videos for free because that's, that's why I do this, you know, so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I guess, I guess that, and then, so, let me know what you had for <laughs> dinner tonight, or today, or wh what you're gonna have for dinner, so, yeah, um, what are we having? We're having some sort of shrimp scampi tonight, that's what, well, that's for today when I'm filming this video. Tomorrow, when this comes out, I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner. But when you're watching this, last night we had shrimp scampi and I'm, I'm sure it came out banging, you know? I like to cook, do you guys know that? Love to cook, so. This video is probably extremely long at this point, so I think it's probably a good idea that I just uh, cut this off here, so. Thanks for watching, appreciate you, peace.